Hi, I'm Yash. Hi, I'm Srinidhi. And we're 18 year olds from Austin, Texas, and we created Ambrosia, a medical device that enables the paralyzed to efficiently and cost effectively move again. Each of our inspirations stem from different sources. Srinidhi was immobilized for over a month due to an accident he had as a child. My dad has struggled with daily tasks for the past three years due to his immobilized forearms. We teamed up to find an effective solution to provide motion that is both easily accessible at a commercial price point while also being competitive with lab-based solutions. 5.4 million people across the United States are victims of some degree of paralysis. And over 90% of these people are unemployed, so they're not able to afford any sort of realistic solutions to this problem. Our project focuses on addressing the disconnectivity between the brain and the muscles that typically occurs due to specific spinal cord injuries. We started off by considering a robotic solution. However, we soon realized these robotic frameworks lack degrees of freedom, mobility, and an economical price point. Most people in the neuroscience field have conducted research on biological agents to attempt to regenerate the missing spinal gap. Hence, we use our computer science and robotics experience and perspectives to artificially bypass the spinal cord. Our solution is a non-invasive, artificially intelligent spinal cord, which utilizes our 3D printed EEG headset to obtain the user's brain signals. We then utilize our layered machine learning system to decompose this data and analyze these brain waves to understand the user's true intent. This analysis then generates a specific muscle stimulating signal, which is emitted via our 3D printed exoskeleton and electrical stimulation module to actually recreate this user's intent and provide that specific motion. We focus on utilizing FDA approved off the shelf component products that are safe and cost effective. Our device costs $300 and is effective enough to be compared to solutions that are tethered within the research laboratories. Due to our restrictions in testing on the paralyzed, we actually tested this product on ourselves. One team member will wear the stimulation framework, while the other team member will wear the EEG headset. This will create an unbiased testing environment where one person could control the motions of the other person. We performed 10 trials a day for over a period of two months, resulting in hundreds of trials worth of data. Many of the results were statistically significant, and outperform many of the existing research models that exist in industry. Our research shows that there is some promise in the field of computational neuroscience to solve some of the largest problems in the real world. We are actively taking next steps to improve Ambrosia by further improving accuracy and reducing the price point, and hopefully see the work from our garage end up in the real world one day.